about gout. So in terms of pathology, it is some type of genetic or hereditary condition. And it results because there's too much uric acid in the bloodstream. So either the production of uric acid exceeds the excretion by the kidneys in the body. So either the kidneys aren't putting it out or the body's making too much. Okay, so that results from too much uric acid in the body. We talked about this um, when we talked about tumor lysis syndrome. Remember, when patients have chemotherapy, about three to five days after, the cells in the tumor can lyse, meaning they break open, and they can release uric acid, potassium, a whole bunch of other stuff. That, I'm just giving you an example of what can bring it on. Um, and uric acid affects the joints. And TOFI, TOFI are little uh, nodules of uric acid that can accumulate under the skin in people with high uric acid. Okay, so let's um, go over to the signs and symptoms of gout. You can use the mnemonic gout. Um, usually, the increase in uric acid causes um, a type of arthritis, gouty arthritis, and it's usually in the great big toe. All right, the MPJ, the metatarsal um, phalangeal um, joint, okay? So just remember the great big toe, and they're going to be in extreme pain if they're having a flare-up of this, okay? Usually it's only in one joint in 75% of the population, and other people may have it in more than one joint. So the uric acid, the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, the BUN and creatinine are going to be increased in a gout, okay? And they'll have the TOFI, and I have a picture of the, t the nodules here that you may see in somebody with gout. Complications include extreme pain. Um, the risk factors include renal failure, because if you have renal failure, then the kidneys aren't going to be able to get rid of that uric acid. Patients undergoing chemo, I talked about that when I mentioned tumor lysis syndrome. People that are obese, anybody on a starvation diet could um, develop gout. People that binge drink. Um, they're also at risk. There's also certain medications that can put people more at risk, or I should say can people can develop a gout-like condition if they take these medications. And you can remember the mnemonic fact for furosemide, aspirin, alcohol, cyclosporine, and thiazide diuretics. Okay? Now it's diagnosed based on the um, labs. They may aspirate the synovial fluid and look for uric acid crystals in the fluid. That may be a way to diagnose it. Um, the treatment involves medications, and I have, you're going to learn about those in um, pharmacology, okay? And then let's talk about the patient teaching because that's probably the most important thing for med surge, okay? They're going to be, they need to be taught to eat a low purine diet because the purines increase their uric acid, okay? So that means no organ meats. Organ meats are liver, um, heart, and kidneys are the most popular organ meats people are eating. And there's been like an uptick lately because it's being touted as really healthy. Um, anyways, you have to tell them not to eat those kind of meats and not to eat shellfish because those are going to um, increase their ur ur uh, uric acid. They need to limit a bunch of stuff, limit alcohol, limit stress limit physical stress. In other words, um, excessive exercise, right? That could bring on a con uh, exacerbation. Um, they need, do need to increase fluids um, if they have healthy kidneys because that will help flush the uric acid out um, and they have to engage in medication compliance. So that's basically it for gout that you need to know.